Everyone, we just refer to you back with another how to play today. We're going to how to play Llama or Don't Llama, the card game, which is ages eight and up. It's from Amigo, and it actually was nominated for the Spill the Czars in 2019. Uh, Spill the Czars, for those of you on the channel not familiar with, is a big game, board game competition that happens every year in Germany. And board games, card games are a huge deal out there in Germany. In Europe, they have, they talk about them all over the place in media and newspapers. And, and they have this big awards show where they, each year, select one game to win this award. And this one was nominated before. I've also got the party edition. I'll be looking at that alongside this one. Make sure to check out that as well. This is a game where you want to... Well, you don't want to llama, basically. Uh, you're trying to avoid taking points. Uh, so two to six players. I'll probably just do a quick two player game. So you get 70 markers, 20 black, 10s and 50 white ones. And you get the cards, which have Yes, the llamas on them. <laughs> and you do get these llamas. You want to try to kind of avoid getting them. And then the rest of the cards are just numbered one through six in different colors. The colors are really not too important. And obviously it's a rainbow colored back design. What you want to do is try to have the least amount of points once somebody hits 40. And I'll show you how you get points and how to avoid them. And you're going to play this in rounds. The youngest player starts the first round. Each player is going to get six cards. We'll just do two players, I guess. And, I'm going to put that aside. We're going to flip the top card of the pile and start it off. Now, here's the catch with this game. On a six, you can only play a llama card. You're trying to get rid of cards from your hand. And you have to play, you know, certain cards. Well, I, I lie. On a six, you can play a one, start over, or you can play a llama. So this person's going to go first. They're going to get rid of the llama because the llama... Is worth a lot of points if you get stuck with it in your hand. You play one card at a time, then it's your turn is over. And um I thought that was a one. Is that a one or is that a seven? No, it only is up to six, so that's a one. So now this person, this player has to play a two. It comes back to me, I have to play a three, I can. They're gonna play they can play a four, they can also play a three. You can always play the same value. And I'm gonna play well, I'm going to play a three as well since I got that. He's going to play a four. I'll play a four. This guy plays a five. I'm going to play a six. And then this guy's going to go out and I get stuck with one card. And that's one way it goes. Now, if a player goes out, they uh, like that and they get rid of all the cards. They actually get to get rid of some of their points if they have any, if I recall correctly. Llamas, by the way, if you get caught with one, is worth 10 points. And, um... Well, <clears throat> I'm going to get, in this case, four, because I had a four left over. Now, here's an interesting thing as well I should mention, and that is, let's say I had two fours, or three fours even. It doesn't matter how many fours I have left, I'm just going to get four. Now, if I had other cards, let's say I had a one, maybe I had a three, now I'm going to get four, one, and the three. Duplicates 
do not count against you. You only are going to be penalized for cards, one card for each number. So duplicates, even though I had free fours, this example, I did not get penalized for free fours. I just get penalized for one four. So that's kind of cool. But we'll just say that as well. So then you're gonna play another round. I'm gonna show you a different scenario. Now I'm pretty sure, like I said, Yes. So if you play all the cards in your hand, like my opponent here did, then they get to, if they had a chip, they get to get rid of that. It's gone. But this one, one negative chip. The catch is, let's say he had a bunch of chips, right? Let's say he was doing poorly, he had a bunch of chips. And he turned them in, and he had, he picked up one of these 10-point chips. Well, now he goes out, he plays all his cards, he has to give up a chip. Bye-bye, 10 points. That's a really cool little thing, in my opinion, that you could just do that. You could just get rid of that. So we'll say I start this time, we'll flip over the top card. It's a llama. So I'm going to play uh, a llama. My opponent's going to go. <laughs> He's in trouble. He's also going to play a llama. And then... I cannot play, currently. Because you have to play the next number. So I have to draw a card. And play passes to the next player. They're happy because they get rid of the llama. I still can't play because I can only play on a llama a one. And I don't have, I have everything but a one, unfortunately. So I'm going to draw another card. It's a llama. This play is going to go. They play the card. Um, so I'm going to play a two. They play a two. I'm going to play a three. They cannot play, so they draw a card. I'm going to play a four. They're going to play a five. Comes back to me. And, uh... <clears throat> This is a poor example. I'm going <laughs> to... They're going to play a five. And then... It goes to me. And, well, let's just say this person... Another thing you can do in your round on your turn. Let's just say that this player had a two left. And it's not looking too good for them. And in terms of getting rid of cards. So what they're going to do, in this case, is... They're going to quit. You can quit. So... You can try to go out, or you can quit. In this case, quitting, he's only going to be taking two points. If you didn't quit, he could be drawing more points. So sometimes quitting is in your best interest. And you can quit, even if you can play. You can quit if you can't play. In this case, you can't play. And you just put your cards face down in front of you. And uh, this is going to continue until all players have played out their cards or quit. So in this case, you know, I'm going to continue. I'm going to play my cards. And I'm out. So I'm out. I can get rid of a chip. And this guy's going to be taking two chips because he kept the card. So that's kind of the basic premise of the game concept is... You're trying to avoid taking points. You're trying to go out if you can. If you can't, you can take a risk and you can just quit. And, you know, take a couple of points. And potentially avoid getting the llamas, obviously. <laughs> and that is that. It's a pretty cool, simple little game. It's different. Uh, check out, of course, the Llama Party Edition coming up next. And we'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching.